welcome and thank you all for joining us today. It's so exciting to be here back in Las Vegas in person. So thank you all for joining us and um, being part of our audience. And also welcome to all of you who are joining us online from around the world. So are you excited for today? We have some amazing new products to show you. So let's go ahead and get started. And you guys all know us well. At AMD, we're all about high performance and adaptive computing and really using technology to create solutions to the world's most important challenges. Now, whether you're talking about cloud services or 5G networks or AI or automotive or PCs, AMD technology is truly everywhere, touching the lives of billions of people every single day. Now, we're at an incredibly busy time for AMD. It's an incredible period of innovation. We're in the midst of introducing actually four new architectures to the market across more than a dozen products. So if you look at it, we started with the Ryzen 7000 launch in September, and many of you joined us there. Next, we're gonna, next week, we're going to bring Zen 4 to high-end server processors, and then soon after that to notebook PCs. And we also have our Zen 4C core optimized for cloud-native computing and our next-gen XDNA architecture that are going to launch in 2023. But of course, today, it's all about gaming, and we're here to talk about our next-generation gaming architecture with RDNA 3. So now just a minute about gaming, right? We all love gaming. Gaming is really in AMD's DNA. And when you look through 2025, you know, we're expecting three and a half billion gamers in the world. And our goal is really to push the limits of gaming innovation to really provide the best solutions across the board together with all of our gaming partners. So whether you're talking about developers creating new games and experiences, or you're talking about the companies that are serving the content, or you're playing your games on your devices, or you're a streamer that are really trying to stream those experiences to other gamers, our mission is to bring you the best experience possible for all of your gaming platforms. Now, Ryzen processors and Radeon graphics are really at the heart of all of the world's most popular gaming devices, including the top gaming PC OEM systems, cloud gaming services, Sony PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X and S, Valve Steam Deck. Uh, we're also bringing gaming to automotive with the newest generation of Teslas. And of course, for all of the folks out there who are building your own PCs, we love the DIY market for all of the PCs that you build. Now, when you think about that, why is gaming so important to AMD? It's really all about pushing the envelope on innovation. Just over a month ago, we launched our next generation desktop PC processor, the Ryzen 7000 series, which was really the most advanced processors for gaming, gamers and creators. And the response has been really incredible. We have leadership performance per watt, we have phenomenal gaming and creative performance, and it's all enabled by our new Zen 4 core in five nanometer. Now, with Ryzen 7000, we also launched our next generation AM5 desktop platform, which has all of the latest I.O., and we're committing to delivering socket longevity on that through 2025 and beyond for lots of future upgrades. And we also know that people love AM4, and AM4 is going to continue for a long, long time. And for there, Ryzen 7 uh, 5800X3D is also a fantastic choice uh, for gamers. Now, today, it's all about the next generation of Radeon graphics and how we deliver the future of gaming with the world's most advanced graphics architecture, RDNA 3. So let me start and tell you a little bit about RDNA 3. We really set truly ambitious goals for RDNA 3. And as you know, at the forefront for what we're doing is it's all about power and energy efficiency. And we want to make sure that we continue to innovate around performance per watt leadership to enable all of the gamer upgrades to be done with fantastic performance, but at a reasonable power. And we also wanted to significantly raise the bar in performance to support the next generation of 4K gaming and beyond, and really recognize that there are a lot of faster and higher resolution displays. And then finally, we also look at it as not just about the chip and not just about the card, but really what is the gaming experience we can bring and that means new AMD software features, that means platform technologies, and really end-to-end -end solutions with our CPUs and GPUs and software co coming together. So there's a lot of innovation in RDNA 3, and we'll tell you all about it today. Now, there's a lot been said about our new chiplet design, so let me start with our chiplet design. 
This is the world's first triplet gaming GPU. Now, why did we use triplets? Triplets really allow us to use a modular approach to optimize the performance and efficiency of the overall design. And so with our triplets, like we've done on the CPU side, on the GPU side, we're mixing and matching the right technology for each function. Now, the graphics compute die is a high performance five nanometer technology design, and it contains all of the high performance compute in the GPU. That includes the shaders, the display engine, and a brand new media engine as well. And then the other die is a memory cache die, and it's built in six nanometer process technology and includes the memory subsystem that features the GDDR6 controllers, as well as up to 96 megabytes of infinity cache. And as a result, we have just an incredible capability with more than 61 teraflops of compute. By the way, do you guys think you need 61 teraflops of compute? <laughs> we also have the world's fastest triplet interconnect to enable 5.3 terabytes per second of peak bandwidth. And that allows us to unlock the full potential of 24 gigabytes of GDDR6. So all together, when you put that together, we have 58 billion transistors in this design, which gives us just an incredible amount of gaming performance. It sounds like there's a few excited people out there. OK, so now let me show you for the very first time our newest triplet gaming GPU. This may be my favorite part of my job, I think. <laughs> All right, so look, as I said earlier, we set very ambitious goals for RDNA3, especially around energy efficiency. And I'm pleased to say that we actually exceeded our goals. So our engineers did a fantastic job, and we made great improvements between RDNA1 and RDNA2. And with RDNA3, we actually achieved a 54% gen over gen improvement in performance per watt. And when you put all of that together into what really matters, we're about building the best products for you. So today, I'm incredibly proud that we're going to announce our first two RDNA3 graphics cards. The Radeon RX. <laughs> the Radeon RX 7900 XTX with 24 gigabytes of GDDR6 and the 7900 XT with 20 gigabytes. So you can imagine, these are just incredible gaming cards. So now I'm going to turn it over to Sam, Scott, and Frank that are going to take you through all of the exciting product details. Sam? Well, thank you, Lisa. Well, as she said, with RDNA 3, our vision was to engineer the most advanced 4K and 8K gaming platform for gamers and creators, containing the features, performance, and efficiency to provide the best gaming experience. To achieve this vision, we have brought unprecedented innovation to all aspects of the design. Now, it's my privilege to hit on a few of those highlights for you this morning. The first and most evident innovation is that we have leveraged our industry-leading expertise in chiplets, honed on our Ryzen and Epic lines, to bring chiplet architecture to GPUs. The magic of chiplet design is being able to use the right technology for the right job. So we created two very different chiplets connected with high bandwidth interconnects specific to graphics. With the graphics compute die, we spend that precious five nanometer silicon where it matters, in the core GPU engine where all the computation occurs to enable great performance and performance per watt. For that small memory cache die, we use the mature 6 nanometer technology to implement the GDDR6 memory interfaces and our second generation Infinity Cache. These diminutive but powerful MCDs feature a second generation Infinity Cache, each connected to 64 bits of high speed GDDR6 memory combined with, to up to a width of 384 bits. 
We've tuned this Infinity Cache to enable better data reuse with less capacity to accomplish several things for us. With the high hit rates, it directly sources most of the memory requests, and this delivers data to the engine in less time and uses less power than going out to DRAM. With our high bandwidth Infinity Fabric chiplet interconnect, we've increased the peak bandwidth from our RDNA2 implementation by an astonishing 2.7 times. And that's where that 5.3 terabytes per second number you just heard comes from. These support the gaming at the highest resolutions. So now I want to take you a little bit deeper, click down into that graphics compute die, which is built around our new RDNA3 compute units where we've continued with our area-efficient unified architecture that shares resources between rendering, AI, and ray tracing to make most effective use of each transistor. In addition, contained within this GCD is a key part of delivering a great gaming experience, driving the latest displays with massive refresh rates for high-resolution gaming. All of the latest media formats are in there with our media and display engine. Now to the core of the engine, which is the new unified RDNA3 compute unit, specifically optimized for high-resolution gaming. The key word here is unified, which means we have a tightly integrated unit which shares resources to deliver the most power and area-efficient performance. We've tuned it to provide the right blend of flexible, highly efficient stream processing, additional AI acceleration capabilities, and greatly enhanced ray tracing acceleration. All of this is fed by a general purpose register file with 50% more capacity than the RDNA2 design, which boosts the performance of all the functions. To deliver this well-rounded feature set, we've leveraged 5 nanometer to the fullest to pack 54% more transistors in less area, increasing our density by 165%. Well, as every chip designer knows, <laughs> a lot of transistors. And, and as every uh, chip designer knows, um, more uh, smaller is faster and more power efficient. And so this enables RDNA3 to deliver even a better gaming experience. Now, looking at the stream processors, we took a huge step in RDNA3 by going to dual issue Wave 32 units. This enables us to better utilize the data paths by issuing two different instructions down each 32-lane SIMD, or we can use them in parallel like we did in RDNA2. We can issue different integer or floating point operations down each SIMD data path, mixing and matching based on the workload demand. Net result is faster frame render times for higher FPS from better utilization of all the functions in the compute unit. It handles now two times more instructions per clock. So we have also greatly enhanced the RDNA AI acceleration. And AI, of course, enables a host of capabilities that are growing in importance to the gaming community. And we've increased the AI throughput for commonly used math functions, which um, while integrating these tightly within our unified compute unit. These share the same register files, caches, and instruction scheduling as the stream processors. And the enhancements provide up to a 2.7x increase in AI performance in the most area and power efficient way possible, setting RDNA3 up to exploit the current and future uses of AI. The final enhancement to mention to our compute unit is the ray tracing acceleration, which is built on new instructions in the shader and support for DXR ray flags and many improvements for ray box sorting and traversal. Amplifying all of this is the ability to um, enable more rays in flight with that 50% larger general purpose register file that I mentioned before, combined with larger L0 and L1 caches to back it up. These improvements provide compelling gains for ray trace gaming content with up to 50% more performance per compute unit. Next, I want to introduce you to our Radiance Display Engine featuring the industry's first DisplayPort 2.1 and a high-performance gaming graphics card. This DisplayPort enables uh, 480 hertz refresh rates at 4K resolution and up to 165 at 8K. 
And the 12 color bits per channel enables an incredible 68 billion colors for amazingly realistic images and graphics. And with the display link bandwidth of up now to 54 gigabits per second, we have doubled that bandwidth per port over RDNA 2. And this supports the unprecedentedly high refresh rates at the highest resolutions. In support of the latest media formats and standards, we have a new dual media engine, and it supports two simultaneous encode or decode streams up to 8K60, or AVC and HEVC. It supports AV1 encode and decode, while also leveraging AI enhancements to improve video encoding and conference quality. And by greatly increasing the frequency inside the media engine, we delivered up to 1.8x x the performance versus RDNA2, reducing export times almost in half. So now a bit more about clock speeds. These are obviously critical to performance, and most workloads that we have found and analyzed are actually more limited by the front-end work distribution and command processing than by our high-performance shader engines. So we recognize that we could utilize higher frequencies in a smarter, more power-efficient way by using our new to RDNA3 decoupled shader engine frequencies to run only the front end at a typical 2.5 gigahertz, while the shaders operate at a more efficient 2.3 gigahertz, which is still 15% higher than RDNA2 at launch. With this sort of advanced power management, we deliver the maximum frames per second while also saving up to 25% power. This contributes to our remarkable 54% product level performance per watt gain. With the higher frequency and the new dual issue RDNA3 compute units, we enable a 2.7x leap in raw compute power. You heard it from Lisa, a remarkable 61.6 teraflops of performance in this engine. Well, putting it all together, we have delivered on our vision by inventing the world's first chiplet-based gaming GPU, enabling the optimal use of five nanometer technology, delivering 15% higher frequencies at 54% better power efficiency. Our advanced chiplet interconnect provides an amazing 2.7x leap in peak bandwidth to feed that 60 plus teraflop engine. The new unified RDNA3 compute units have twice the instructions per clock enabling them to fully, fully utilize our data paths and provide incredibly high performance for rendering, ray tracing, and AI applications in the most power and area efficient way. We connect this rendering horsepower to the industry's first GPU DisplayPort 2.1 to support massive refresh rates and include the encode and decode for all the latest media standards. The result is what we set out to achieve the most advanced GPU optimized for gamers and creators. Now I'd like to hand it over to Scott, who will tell you more about this incredible product. What's up, gamers? How is everybody doing today? Oh, we've been working on this for three years, hundreds of thousands, if not millions of hours in our engineering group. And I'm sure they're tuning in today, but I can't be more proud of what they've uh, been able to create for you and to create for us, and it's going to be a great time. So now, I know what you want to see, performance, price, and availability. Is that right? Do you want to see that? Yeah. Sounds good, but you're going to have to stay for a little bit to get availability and price, but I'll show you performance. I'll show you some performance. So today, 4K sets the standard where enthusiast GPUs are measured. According to IDC, in the last five years, there is three times increase in shipments of 4K monitors. And the Radeon RX 7900 XTX is going to be the perfect card to power your games at 4K. In pure rendering, the 7900 XTX is up to 1.7 times faster than our previous generation flagship GPU. And in ray tracing, we are seeing up to 1.6 times more performance in native 4K. What do you think? Wow. Now that you've seen the performance, allow me to introduce the Radeon RX 7900 XTX. Wow. Take a good look. We've Spent a lot of time optimizing this car, but more importantly, making sure that you're going to be proud when you put it into your rig. Absolutely fantastic. 
This gaming card is built to provide exciting performance in 4K resolution and beyond. RDNA 3 based GPUs are like no other. It features 96 unified RDNA 3 compute units running at 2.3 gigahertz game clock, and it comes with 24 gigabytes of GDDR6 with 384 bit support. This card is future ready with AV1 encode and decode for streaming and video export, and it has the latest DisplayPort 2.1 technology for up to 4K 480 frames per second or 8K 165 frames per second gaming capabilities. All, ladies and gentlemen, with a board power of just 355 watts. The XTX. <laughs> Today, we are also announcing the Radeon RX 7900 XT, a massive leap in performance over the last generation. It features 84 unified compute units running at a game clock of 2 gigahertz and comes with 20 gigabytes of 320-bit GDDR6 memory with the same support for AV1 and DisplayPort 2.1. The 7900 series gaming cards are industry leaders in performance per watt. There is no need to rebuild your desktop, no need to upgrade your case, and there is no need for a new power adapter. Yep. We made it as easy as pulling out your old card and putting in a new one. Previous generation enthusiast GPUs, including those recently launched by our competitor, only support DisplayPort 1.4. Gamers who purchase these graphics cards will see limited frame rates. But with the RX 7900 series of GPUs, it'll allow you to actually see the frames you are paying for when you upgrade to a DisplayPort 2.1 monitor. If you are paying that much money for a brand new gaming card, you should demand a GPU that will allow you to game into the future. And only the 7900 series can give you that. And starting in early 2023, an incredible new generation of displays at a range of resolutions from leading display vendors will start rolling out to gamers, including this sneak peek from our friends at Samsung with their brand new Odyssey Neo G9, expected to be the first DisplayPort 2.1 8K, I'll say that again, 8K, ultra widescreen gaming monitor ever. What do you think? More details on the design and specs will be unveiled soon at CES in January of 2023. <clears throat> and to power high refresh rate gaming displays, both today and your future upgrades, we've developed a suite of powerful software enhancements, which includes technologies such as Fidelity FX, super resolution, and smart access memory. Combined with our new unified RDNA 3 compute units, the Radeon RX 7900 series delivers the next generation of high refresh rate gaming. AMD's Fidelity FX Super Resolution, or FSR, technology works on all modern GPUs <clears throat> to provide high fidelity visuals and incredible frame rates. In just 16 months, FSR will be available in 216 games, proving just how compelling open technologies are for the entire industry. Our latest update, FSR 2.2, reduces super resolution temporal ghosting, not only the artifacts but on fast moving objects, and it'll also be available in Forza Horizon 5 soon. Now, 1440p gaming displays with high refresh rates continue to be one of the fastest growing choices for gamers. With the 7900 XTX and Apex Legends, you will be able to reach the game's hard frame rate cap of 300 frames per second. And in other popular titles, <laughs> and in other popular titles, the 7900 XTX can push your games to its limits. Games like Overwatch 2 and Valorant are great examples of why DisplayPort 2.1 is so important. Now, there's finally a gaming card to drive 300 to 800 frames plus frames per second gaming on ultra high refresh rate displays. Now at 4K, the 7900 XTX is the card to get. By turning on max settings in AAA games and using FSR upscaling, you can hit triple digit performance. It even makes playing competitive esports titles at 4K a real possibility. Hundreds of frames in your games at 4K resolution. Now, I'm not saying that you would, but you could play games with RX 7900 XTX that go beyond today's 8K 60 Hertz limits. In Dawn of Ragnarok, the latest expansion to Ubisoft's acclaimed Assassin's Creed Valhalla 
with FSR paired with the 7900 XTX, you'll be able to get 96 frames per second at a crisp 8K resolution. <laughs> it's truly incredible to see and experience. The RX 7900 series can power the next generation of displays like 8K ultra wide or high refresh rate 8K displays above 60 hertz. Next generation RDNA 3 compute units, new levels of memory bandwidth combined with the latest upscaling technologies deliver the performance to power these incredible experiences. A lot of gamers are excited about features like ray tracing in their games. Today, I'm excited to announce that DirectX ray tracing is coming to one of the most popular franchises in the world, Halo Infinite by 343 Industries. Halo Infinite will now support ray trace shadows across arena and big team battle modes, and players with AMD hardware will notice improved lighting, sharper shadows, and increased performance on RX 7000 series platforms with ray tracing acceleration. DXR will be available in season three, so look forward to your graphics settings soon. And with the RDNA 3 architecture, real-time ray tracing performance has greatly improved generation over generation. In Dying Light 2, with ray tracing features turned to the max, the 7900 XTX delivers performance above 60 frames per second with FSR at 4K. Cyberpunk and Hitman 3 also have significant performance uplifts, giving you the performance you need to stay immersed in your game. But today we're also announcing a technical partnership with the Callisto Protocol coming in December. This third-person survivor horror game developed by Striking Distance Studios features incredible lighting and shadow effects, along with movie-quality textures and animations to set the eerie mood in this sci-fi experience. <laughs> Ray tracing is used to full effect here, with shadows, translucency, and glossy refractions coming together to capture the most subtle details that create giant leaps in realism. At 4K and higher resolution, the Radeon RX 7900 series is optimized to deliver incredible frame rates to power this experience. Now next, we are also announcing a technical partnership with Luminous Productions and their action RPG, Forspoken, launching in January. Luminous Productions has created some truly breathtaking visuals in a fully realized fantasy world, powered by hybrid ray tracing for realistic lighting and shadows on the characters and environments. Forspoken looks and runs incredibly fast thanks to its implementation of Fidelity FX features, including FSR, variable rate shading, ambient occlusion, and downsampler, all optimized for Radeon. We work closely with game studios to optimize for the next generation of games. At Ubisoft, Snowdrop has been in development for over a decade and is one of its most important gaming engines. This is the same engine utilized across a variety of PC and multi-platform titles from Mario and Rabbit Sparks of Hope to Tom Clancy's Division 2. By the way, one of my personal favorites, Long Live the Bullet King. If you play the game, you'll know. Today, we are announcing our partnership with their next generation engine. This tech demo is beautifully rendered with global illumination, blur reflections, and shadows in addition to other effects that the Snowdrop engine uses, such as volumetric weather effects and micro detail rendering. We've worked with Ubisoft to add a highly optimized AMD ray tracing implementation that unlocks even smarter ray processing than DXR alone can provide. With high performance ray tracing enabled on a 7900 XTX, we are getting frame rates above 80 frames per second at 4K with FSR2. We're excited to see the Snowdrop engine come to life in major upcoming titles, including Avatar Frontiers of Pandora, Splinter Cell, and Ubisoft Star Wars Project. Right? Let's go, indeed. With the announcement of Unreal Engine 5, a lot of gamers, including myself, are excited to see what new games and experiences will be created in this popular engine. UE5 is optimized to take full advantage of our unified RDNA 3 compute units with excellent ray tracing and rasterization performance. In this UE5 sample, optimized for Radeon, we're able to hit an average of 60 frames per second at 4K with FSR2 enabled. Even with the resounding success of FSR2, we won't stop there. I'm excited to show you a preview of a brand new version of Fidelity FX super resolution technology appropriately named FSR3. <laughs> FSR3 combines our best-in-class temporal super resolution technology and our new 
AMD Fluid Motion Frames technology to deliver more frames per second in your games. Fluid Motion Frames increases FPS when using very demanding settings. FSR 3 will provide up to a two times increase in frames per second at 4K resolution over FSR 2, a significant boost across your supported games, and will be coming to PC gamers in 2023. To give an idea of what's possible with our brand new generation of gaming cards, I'd like to show you what Sava and a small team of artists were able to create using a standard animation pipeline to build their dark sci-fi fantasy film, Beckoning, an Unreal Engine in just four months. Let's hear from Sava. My name is Sava Zimkovic. I wrote and directed Beckoning, and I want to briefly talk about how Unreal Engine 5 and AMD are empowering small teams to create cinema class animated films. In Unreal Engine 5, Lumen and Nanite shine with the Radeon RX 7900 XDX, allowing us to walk around completely lit environments and characters and to explore the shots. This significantly speeds up the production and enables us to make creative decisions at the speed of thought. You can change the lighting, character or environment placement, or entirely change the camera angle if you so desire. This amount of speed and flexibility is unprecedented in traditional animation pipelines and is one of the main reasons why I personally believe producing feature-length animation with smaller teams is now a reality. And when it comes to high-fidelity output, the FSR Movie Render Cube plugin upscales the final frame rendering to 4K or even 8K. CG animation has never been as fast and as fun. Very cool. By the way, in reviewing that video, it sure does make it look easy to create a new movie, doesn't it? But it's, it does, I don't think it is. Uh, the Radeon RX 7900 series are the most advanced gaming GPUs. First of all, they are easy to upgrade into your existing gaming rig. They feature industry-leading enthusiast GPU support for next-generation displays. They will deliver ultra-high frame rates in both native and upscale games, and of course comes with up to 24 gigabytes of memory to drive the next generation of games and advanced workloads. All of our innovations enable the 7900 XTX to deliver an incredible leap in performance of up to 1.7 times faster 4K gaming. Now, let me invite Frank Azor to the stage to show you how the Radeon RX 7900 series powers the next generation of gaming and streaming experiences. Frank? <laughs> I am incredibly excited to be here with you guys today. It's just been so long since we've been able to all be together and to do this the way it deserves to be done, right? In person and just with all these incredible games and visuals behind us. What do you guys think about the new graphics cards? Awesome, right? Don't worry, Scott's gonna come back and tell you when you're gonna be able to get them and what they're gonna be uh, priced at, okay? I promise. Uh, but they're incredible graphics cards. But you know what's even more incredible is that at AMD, you get more than just a great graphics card. We're committed to building the absolute best gaming, creating, and streaming experiences. I'm gonna share with you today a little bit about some of our latest developments of how we're pulling it all together to bring you the next generation of PCs. Great hardware, as you've seen today, deserves great software. And AMD Adrenaline is your software interface for harnessing the full potential of your AMD-powered system. We're committed to bringing you an Adrenaline software that you can depend on and that offers you state-of-the-art features and next-level gaming experiences, as well as streaming and for creating. If you're not already familiar with AMD Adrenaline, let me catch you up real quickly to what you've been missing. Adrenaline is your hub for just about everything. You can find and launch your games, plus monitor your stats and performance across all the games on your system, all from one home screen. You can customize your Radeon settings for each game, as well as record and stream those games right from within the UI. You can even turn your system into its own personal game server and connect your smartphone, tablet, or another Windows PC to play your games remotely from anywhere. And of course, you can take full control over your AMD graphics card and your Ryzen CPU and tune them for maximum performance and efficiency. Adrenaline, it's simply awesome. 
But there's probably two things that I love most about Adrenaline. First, it's the fact that all these features are within one unified UI. And second, it's a completely unlocked experience, meaning we don't force you to create an account. You're not going to be monitored by us. You're not going to be tracked. You can just access all these features. You can customize your system to your content and just play the games you love, because that's what you deserve. So let me talk to you about some of the uh, upcoming features you can expect from the next version of Adrenaline. Existing features like Radeon Super Resolution, Radeon Boost, and Anti-Lag are huge performance amplifiers for your gaming experience. But let's be honest, most of us don't want to have to learn about each new feature, how it works, which games it works on, which features work best with one another. When we finally get some time to sit down and game, it's just too much complexity to deal with. I just want to get in the game, and I want to play. So we heard you. To simplify all this, we're introducing HyperRx mode. With HyperRx, we've redeveloped these performance boosting technologies to all work together and at the same time, compounding their benefits and giving you a one-click experience to improve frame rate and latency. In the game Dying Light 2, just to give you an example, in the game Dying Light 2, we're seeing performance improvements with HyperRx up to 85% with one-third of the latency. It's incredible. So look forward to HyperRx coming out uh, early next year, and you can experience it yourself. All right, so let's talk about what are we doing to help improve your recording and your streaming experience. OBS, as many of you know, is the leading video recording and live streaming platform out there, and it's used by some of the world's most successful and popular streamers. Well, we've partnered with OBS to improve video streaming quality across all bit rates on Radeon RX 6000 and 7000 series graphics cards. Additionally, with the new AMD RDNA 3 media engine, we've added AV1 hardware encoding, improving quality and transforming live streaming. In this example, we're looking at a recorded image of Halo, captured with OBS on the Radeon 7900 XTX graphics card. Both images were captured at the same 3.5 megabit per second bitrate. As you can see behind me, the quality of the stream and the text within it is visibly pixelated. But with the addition of our AV1 hardware encoding, updated pre-analysis and pre-filtering algorithms, plus our OBS optimizations, the playback quality substantially improves, providing a clear, sharp, and a smooth viewing experience. Additionally, with Xilinx AI and Content Adaptive Machine Learning Technology, we've integrated that into the AMD framework, and it's been trained to learn, predict, and target small text and menus, making them legible again, especially when streaming at low bit rates and resolutions up to 1080p. The new AMD RDNA 3 media engine reaches beyond streaming, though. With our dedicated AV1 hardware processing, video encoding is up to seven times faster than software, even at ultra-high resolutions like 8K. Support for the RDNA 3 media engine will be available across applications like Adobe Premiere Pro, FFmpeg, Handbrake, and in upcoming releases of OBS. And then for video creators, any video creators in the audience? Anybody create video? You're going to love this. So we're introducing something we call Smart Access Video. Smart Access Video works with select applications when you pair the Ryzen 7000 series with the new Radeon 7000 series. And unlike other platforms that can really only make use of either your CPU or your GPU's video compression engines, Smart Access Video distributes the encoding and decoding workloads across both your Ryzen CPU and your Radeon graphics cards video compression engines, enabling faster 4K and 8K editing. And when it comes to batch transcoding, Smart Access Video reduces parallel transcoding times by nearly one-third. Smart Access Video will be available across applications like OBS, Premiere Pro, FFmpeg, and more starting in December. So next. <laughs> Let me share with you how we're bringing all these technologies and all this greatness together for you into our AMD Advantage solutions. So when we first introduced Advantage laptops, we raised the bar of what defines just a great portable gaming experience. And Advantage laptops have been carefully designed and developed with our partners to ensure that their premium experiences are felt throughout. 
Multiple models of these laptops are available in market right now from your favorite OEM and SI partners. And look, nothing compares to building your own desktop if you can, all right? But for those of us that maybe don't have the time, the experience, or the will to do so right now, we've applied the great AMD Advantage design framework that we applied to laptops originally, and we're bringing that to desktops now. We've partnered with several leading system integrators to bring you these turnkey solutions so that whether you're gaming, you're streaming, or creating, Advantage desktops have been designed and developed with our partners to be the best desktops you'll find in the market. All the incredible performance you saw here today from the 7900 XTX, well, that's what you can expect with Advantage desktop systems. It starts by pairing our Ryzen 9 processor and our Radeon XTX graphics card. Then we amplify that performance with our smart technologies, including smart access memory and smart access video, as well as the full feature set of Adrenaline software, including Radeon Super Resolution, AMD Noise Suppression, HyperRX, and more. But Advantage goes even further than that by ensuring every component, from the motherboard to the NVMe drives to the memory, the power supply, all the rest, they all work seamlessly together, and they're all tuned for maximum performance with every design and quality metric followed. Next, we focus on each system delivering its full graphics potential. We know that peak visual quality and performance are incredibly important to gamers. So Advantage desktops have been thermally designed, reliably powered, and rigorously tested to ensure that they deliver on the highest resolution and refresh rate experiences possible on the 7900 XTX. And it all comes together when you pair them with one of the over 2,500 AMD FreeSync monitors available, allowing you to experience the most demanding games at their smoothest and highest settings. And of course, each Advantage desktop is built to game with a full configuration of premium components, all tuned and tested reliably to give you maximum performance every single time. We're really excited to be working with all of these partners on bringing you the first generation of Advantage desktops. It's been awesome to be here with you guys today. This is a historic moment. Thank you so much for your time. Let me welcome Scott back on the stage. Thank you, Frank. OK, are you ready? Yeah. All right, what an incredible day of announcements that will transform the future of graphics in games. The AMD Radeon 7900 series. Built for extreme performance to drive 4K and 8K high refresh rate gaming monitors, powered by the world's most advanced gaming graphics architecture, RDNA 3. Here we go. Starting December 13th, 2022, you'll be able to purchase the 7900 XCX for $999. The world's fastest gaming card under $1,000. Also on December 13th, 2022, you'll be able to purchase the 7900 XT for $899. $999 and $899. The world's most advanced gaming GPUs powering your gaming rig for years to come. That's the end of our show. Thank you for joining us today. And we can't wait to get these gaming cards in your hands in December. Have a great rest of your day.